Hey friends, before we start today's episode, I have an important message to share with you. As you must be aware, due to certain new policies, you are not able to comment on our videos. But don't you worry, my friends, you can still share your valuable feedback, comments, views, and love at our email ID peekabookidsfeedback at gmail.com. Similarly, you can also visit our Instagram and Facebook page and continue to engage with us. We are looking forward to hearing from you. <laughs> oh, relax little kitty. There is no need to panic. I'm merely checking my blood pressure. Blood pressure? Yes, kitty. Hey, dear friends. I'm sure you must have seen your elders acting strangely and screaming that their blood pressure is rising or falling. But have you ever wondered what does that mean? So, in today's episode, let us measure the fluctuating world of blood in our body and answer the question, what causes blood pressure? Zoom in! We are aware of the fact that our body consists of tube-like tunnels called blood vessels that carry the oxygen and nutrition-rich blood throughout the body. To facilitate this journey, our heart plays a vital role by beating and pumping the blood through the arteries, which exerts the force on the muscular walls of the blood vessels. And this exerted force is called blood pressure. When the heart squeezes and pushes blood into the vessels, blood pressure goes up. This is known as the systolic blood pressure. And when the heart relaxes, the blood pressure goes down, which is known as diastolic blood pressure. Now, this flow of blood is unstable and changes from time to time directly impacting the physical and mental health of an individual. So, to keep track of the flow, these pressures are recorded in the form of millimeters of mercury and are symbolized as MMHG. For a healthy person, the systolic blood pressure is between 90 to 120 MMHG and diastolic pressure is between 60 to 80 mmHg and the ideal average of both the pressure is considered to be a little less than 120 by 80 mmHg. I know what you guys are thinking. So, what is high and low blood pressure all about? Well, let me explain. Well, if the systolic pressure increases above 120 mmHg and diastolic pressure increases above 80 mmHg, then the person is said to be suffering from high blood pressure or hypertension. But what causes this increased pressure in our body? Well, there are many reasons behind it, such as you can get it from your parents, or if you adopt an unhealthy lifestyle like an uneven sleeping pattern, stress, consuming unhealthy food, etc. But the severe cause behind hypertension is an increase in the level of salt in your body. Yes, the salt works on your kidneys to make your body hold on to more water. This extra amount of liquid increases the blood volume and blood pressure, causing hypertension. Now, let's learn about low blood pressure. When the systolic pressure drops below 90 mmHg and diastolic pressure drops below 60 mmHg, the individual suffers from low blood pressure. The causes of low blood pressure could be thyroid conditions such as parathyroid disease, adrenal insufficiency, low blood sugar 
and in some cases diabetes apart from that when your body loses more water than its intake it can cause weakness dizziness and fatigue losing a lot of blood such as from a major injury or internal bleeding reduces the amount of blood in your body leading to a severe drop in blood pressure and both the conditions can harm your health and can be dangerous but the most vital question is what can we do to maintain the ideal level of blood pressure well it's way more simple than you think yes to overcome the problem of high blood pressure you should meditate and exercise regularly eat a healthy diet and most importantly reduce the use of sodium content in your food and to overcome the problem of low blood pressure all you need to do is drink the right amount of water wear compression stockings and reduce the amount of blood that gets caught in the lower legs and feet increase the right amount of salt in food avoid standing still in place for long periods and lastly exercise and play to promote blood flow trivia time did you know if you line up all your blood vessels they'd be 95000 kilometers long and you won't believe your blood vessels carry the equivalent of over 75000 liters of blood hope you learned a lot from today's episode until next time it's me dr binox zooming out never mind